Hi everybody, in this video I want to quickly cover how to set up the Odin compiler on Windows. There are four steps that we need to follow. First, go to visualstudio.microsoft.com, scroll down a little bit to the left, you'll see a download link for the community version. That's a free version and it's a large file so you want to get that started ASAP. Right now I'm using Community 2020, which should work just fine. Uh, for the curious, I'm following the instructions on the Getting Started page. I'll put a link down below. Next, you can use either the pre-built version of Odin, which is arguably the easier and faster way to go, or if you are familiar with Git, then you can clone the repository and build Odin yourself. Let's cover the, the easiest way first. You'll go to Odin, onto the, the main repo page there found on GitHub, click on over to the right there, you'll see a link for the latest release. If you scroll down a bit, you'll see a list of assets. You of course want to download the Windows zip file right there. I have unzipped that on my system under documents code Odin dash built. And within that folder, you'll find an executable Odin.exe. So to be able to use it and type things like Odin run or Odin build, you'll need the Odin command available on your path. Now to update your path, you just search for ENV. You want to edit your system environment variables. Open that, click on environment variables, and under system variables, you'll see your path variable. This is where you have just a list of folders on your system that whenever you type a command into a console, it will search through each of these until it finds the executable that you're referencing. So in this case, Odin. So I added simply the path to my odin-built folder. And once you add that there, odin, when you type in the odin uh, command, it will look into all of those folders. It'll eventually go to the odin-built folder and it will find the odin.exe and that's what it will execute. So when you type odin version, it'll show the odin-built folder right there, odin.exe and the version that you're running. The other way to do this is to download the code, clone the repository, and build the build the uh, compiler yourself. So I'll go into uh, Odin. You'll see that the code in here looks quite a bit different. It's not like the pre-built version where we just have uh, a few files. Here, where am I? Bin core examples, etc. You have a lot more files here, and these are the files that are needed to build it. So how do you build it? Over on the start menu, once you have Visual Studio installed, you can scroll down and you'll see a folder for Visual Studio. Just expand that and you'll want to select the x64 native tools command prompt. Again, I'm just following the directions here on the getting started page. It tells you to get the x64 command prompt right here. So that's how you find it. Once you open it, navigate to the folder where you have the code and where you have checked out You've called git checkout, the latest release. For me, it's dev 2211. Uh, then you go to that folder and you simply type build.bat. So you're going to run the build bat file. Once you do that, it'll do a bunch of stuff. Hopefully you won't see any errors. And that means that you have built your new exe, the new executable found in that folder with all the other code. So to keep up to date with the releases, instead of going to the download pay, uh, the release page and downloading the asset and unzipping it each time, um, overwriting your old, your old files, you can simply uh, pull the latest release, uh, rebuild it, and then you've got it working. So you've got your exe, you want to update your system variables again, your path, and instead of referencing wherever you've downloaded the pre-built version, I now reference the Odin folder where I have my built version the one that I build myself. And then I just have to open up a new console so we get the updated updated setup, Odin version, and now I'm referencing the Odin folder.exe. Now, the last thing you should know is how to build uh, with other, other um, files. So if you have to reference a, a library like SDL2, then how do you do that? So I'll show you an example from a space shooter game that I'm working on. For the space shooter game, I need SDL2 and SDL2 image, and I'm loading PNG files, so I need a few other things in there too. So you go to the Odin code on GitHub, go back to the main page, navigate to the vendor subfolder where the SDL2 library is found, 
and there's another subfolder with image so that's for the image uh, library as well so the first thing you download is the sdl2.dll put that in the root of your project then you go to image download sdl2 underscore image.dll as well as the libpng1616 and finally zlib1.dll all of those files you'll want to put in the root of your the folder of the project and so when you build it it'll run you won't have any problems at least in my case of course for every different project you'll need different files but you put them all in the root folder of your project which uh, as i understand it is pretty typical when you're building things like games you put them in the root of your project then you'll be able to build it and run it without a problem if you have any problems you can either ask me or you're far better off joining the discord you can find the invite link on the main page of odinlang.org down at the bottom join discord Everyone there is very helpful, and I've managed to get help with all of my problems, and uh, they're very quick to answer, too. So if you're impatient like me, it's ideal. Thank you very much, by the way, to everyone in the Discord. You're all great, and you make working with Odin a lot easier than it may otherwise be for newbies like me. So definitely join. You'll be happy that you did. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.